The family of a decorated veteran who died days ago is outraged over an alleged burial mistake. On the day of his funeral, relatives say they discovered that his plot had been given to someone else. CBS 2's Corey James has this exclusive story. I see an empty pit filled with somebody else's body. That is not what Stephen Rubin expected to see Thursday, but it's what he and his grieving family say they faced when they showed up to Beth Moses Cemetery on Long Island to properly say goodbye to their loved one, Jack Krimsky. He was a wonderful man and because he was supposed to have military honors. The 100-year-old World War II vet's daughter, Ronnie Rubin, says her father's funeral ruined before it even started. Funeral director from the chapel called me out and she said, they buried somebody in your father's grave yesterday. We can't do the funeral. Rubin says it does not make sense how this happened because her family spent about $300,000 over the last 50 years for 18 plots in this one area. There's a huge family plot. We have a headstone with names on it. To make matters worse, Krimsky's son, who flew in from Florida, is also dealing with the loss of his wife. He will now have to miss his father's funeral and religious tradition. We need to sit shiva. That's a very big thing. And we can because it's only after the burial. I have to go back to Florida, so I won't be attending the funeral. Thank you for calling Beth Moses Cemetery. We reached out to the cemetery by phone and email, but did not hear back. The Krimsky family left grappling with not only the heartbreak that comes with losing a relative, but also added pain after finding out their plot was taken. They had to take him back from Long Island to New Jersey to put him back in the refrigerator. Do you know how I feel that my dad's in a refrigerator? And the family says the health department now has to get involved so that the body in their plot can be removed. Still, they don't know when that will happen, and they also don't know when their loved one, an Army Air Corps sergeant, will be laid to rest. In West Babylon, on Long Island, Corey James, CBS 2 News.